So, today is the morning of February 8th, and today is the day I have an MRI scheduled. And now the reason I have an MRI scheduled is because there's been a spike in a certain hormone level. I can't recall right now exactly which hormone level, but it's produced by a gland in the brain. Now, this may be because that gland is swelling, so that's why I need to have the MRI. Um, if, luckily, my endo told me that if it is, there's a simple pill that I can take to reduce the swelling and it should be fine. She said it's nothing to worry about. Um, now, I've never, never had an MRI before, but from what I understand, you know, you just you put on the hospital gown, you kind of lay, you kind of lay there for an hour, hour and a half, or half an hour, depending on how still you are, or how much time it has to take, I guess. Um, and yeah, you just let it image you. Um, there's, it's supposed to be quite loud from what I hear, so, um, my only real issue is that, like, it's super early in the morning for me, um, and I work nights, so, yeah, this is kind of, like, a bit of torture. Um, at least it's not a far walk. It's maybe about, like, 15, 20 minutes down the street f um, to the from my house to the hospital that has the, um, the MRI machine, which is nice because last night it um, we had a bit of a storm. Um, there's a lot of snow and there's a lot of freezing rain and the streets are still, like, eh. But, yeah, so it shouldn't be too, too bad. Um... Now, like, they sent me some documents, um, I have to bring this and my Medicare card to the radiology apartment. Um, I had a bit of a freak out last night because I thought I lost this, and these things aren't something that you can, like, just cancel or reschedule the day before. Like, they need a lot of advance notice to be able to do that because these are expensive machines, and it's very, very precious time. Um, a few other things, um, no makeup, because there could be trace elements that, um, can interfere with the magnetics. Same with the piercings, um, I only have two, one in each ear, which I had to remove, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so, uh, um, yeah, I guess it's nearly time, so, um, I guess let's get ready and we'll walk and see. Wasteland of Eastern Canada. Now you can see plows came by last night and left this nice old hump to get over. Oh. So I guess it's going to be walking in the street today because the sidewalks have not been plowed yet. Luckily there's very little traffic. cold and windy. The wind chill is what really kills. Um, I also, because I live on the east coast, we get a lot of like horrible, horrible wind. Um, sunglasses, very important when it's super sunny out, especially in the winter time because of snow blindness. Very real thing. Oof. Let's see, now that I'm on, um, Mountain Road. It's one of the um, main streets here. This is how much sidewalk I have today. Better than no sidewalk at all for this road. <laughs> Not as bad as I thought it was going to be, actually. Thankfully, it's really... Ooh, there goes a plow. Yeah, luckily, it's very nice out today. Fairly mild, all things considered, given what last night was like. Check out Castle Manor. Yeah. It's a beautiful, beautiful heritage spot. Um, it looks especially nice in the winter. They just did renovations on it um, a couple summers ago, so yeah. And we'll be turning down that street there. And if you're wondering why there's no glove on here, it's just because my phone doesn't respond to my leather gloves. So I take, have to take one off to utilize my functions. Yeah. So they were oh, halfway there now. 
Okay, here we go. Oh, look at the size of that snowbank. That is like twice as tall as me, and I'm six foot. Uh, here we go. And we're not gonna go into emergency care. We're just gonna go into the main entrance. So with that green right over there. And we're gonna find the radiology department. Okay, so back from the MRI, it was um, very interesting. Got a little bracelet to prove it. Um, yeah, they just um, they they kind of they put an IV in my arm to get like all the it's like an imaging thing. Um, I I don't do well with needles, so like that was the most discomforting part. But um, yeah, they kind of put like a big metal cage over your head, and then you just go into the machine. Um, it's half an hour. I had to go an extra five minutes because I, um, like, I had to go, like, clear my sinuses a little bit, and then that was enough of a motion to cause the imaging to screw up. But yeah, it was, it was fine. It went well. Anyway, thanks for tuning in as usual, and I'll see you all again next time.